Wow. Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Grossmont College is expanding a program that lets its students get textbooks for free. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is in the Live Center. And Jared, this is saving them thousands of dollars. And Jim, some studies say the average cost of textbooks is about $1,500 per semester. And that's more than one semester of tuition at Grossmont. But since they adopted this, their Open Educational Resources Program, it's better known as OER, their students are saving big. In fact, this year alone, They've saved about $1.3 million. Oh, over 500 for sure. The cost of textbooks for Edwin Hernandez was so high some semesters, he just wouldn't buy them. I just kind of skip on it and just really pay attention as much as I can in the actual class. And it barely got me by, but it's still a bigger struggle. A struggle he and many other Grossmont students don't have to deal with anymore thanks to the Open Educational Resource Program. Those are openly licensed materials that are free to students to use. The program lets teachers choose alternative textbooks free of charge. Professor Dave Dillon was one of the first at Grossmont to realize the cost of books was too much pressure for some of his students to bear. We realized that students were making decisions like, do I want to buy food today or do I want to purchase my textbook? When he brought the OER program to Grossmont in 2016, only six teachers signed up. It's been so popular, that number has grown to 100 this semester. For students like Carlos Espinoza, It just helped me save so much time. It means no longer having to spend hours on the bus each day. With all that money that I was able to save in the last year, it helped me save uh, for a car. Now, Dylan says he's also seeing higher grades and higher completion rates in his classes since he switched to the free textbooks. Grossmont now offers two full associate degrees where every class is part of OER, so students don't have to spend a cent on textbooks while they're in college. Guys? I tell you, Jared, it certainly makes sense from the student point of view. What about publishers, though? They need to sell books. Have they responded? Yeah, they have. Some publishers, according to the professor I spoke with, are trying to actually downplay how good these textbooks are. Others are trying to create their own versions of OER textbooks, and some are moving to a subscription-based model, kind of like Netflix, so you can access their entire library for one small fee. Very interesting. We'll hear more about that. Hey, Jared, thank you very much. Yeah, and whether it spreads. Mm -hmm. All right, Megan Perry's up now, and okay, so today's different, but this isn't going to last forever. It